Trainers, what is going on? Drewby here bringing another video. Today we got the messy hair and we got the EUIC just wrapping up. We're basically three weeks into the meta now. It's still early, but there's clear signs of what's on the rise, what's on the decline, what's meta, what's not meta, what's good, what's not kind of thing. So, it's really weird. When I press select Pokemon here, it doesn't show up on my OBS, but it does for me. So basically, I'm going to have to take a screenshot of this and then post it for you guys. Uh, right, it's already, it's probably already on the screen for you right now, but... There's a clear, obvious uh, five mons that are just above the pack right now. We see in most of the successful teams, we see there is a Fluttermane, Amoongus, Arcanine, Palafin, Tinglu. Those five Pokemon right there are absolutely nutty together. It is a great core. You have Fire, Water, Grass. You have Intimidate. You have special attacks being dropped by the Ting Lu. You have even, uh, what do you call it? You just have Palafin switching out, going into the Hero Mode, and just doing big damage with Jet Punch. And then, basically, those five Pokemon... And though it seems to be the common trend here is you throw on the mod of choice that you want extra coverage on. Do you want Xi'an Pao for better jet punch damage? Do you want Dragonite just having an EQ immunity and go for E speed and big damage there? Do you want a Vax Calibur for Ice Shard and big damage in general? Do you want a uh, even a Chi Yu for a Fluttermane Chi Yu lead or put it in the back for big special defense drops and then just big special attack damage? Uh, do you want an Iron Bundle, a King Gambit, those mods, even a Gyarados for an extra Intimidator and EQ Immunity, or a Double Intimidator with Arcanine and the Gyarados. Right now, the meta is very much those five Pokemon and then throw on your filler. Obviously, there are other, other mods there as well that are doing pretty well. We saw a rising Golden Go. Like, if we go to top eight real quick... You can see Golden Go is back in the building. Paul Ruiz used it. Julio used it. James Evans used it. We got our boy uh, Golden Go back in the building. A nice steel type to switch into or just lead with to get a nasty spot up. Shadow Ball, make it rain. Just big damage galore, my friends. We ain't seen no Y Guard recently because Garganak has been on the decline. Uh, Armor is running Y Guard. Armor is Trick Room has just been. So we don't know what's going on there, man. As a big fan of Trick Room, not seeing it in the meta is kind of hurting, but. It is what it is, man. You want to win, you got to play what's meta, you know? So, it is what it is there. Like I said before, that core, Arcanine, Palafin, Amoongus, Ting Lu, Fluttermane, and the fill of your choice. Gabriel had the lovely Baxcalibur. Paul had um, Roaring Moon. Uh, Elias had the uh, Iron Hands. And then, like, we see Julio has Dragonite and Chien Pao. No Fluttermane there, so... Though, though they basically those four mons at the very least those five mons we're just seeing them everywhere we did see the return of beat up ape right now we have moss hold we have um uh what do you call it the lovely uh, uh annihilate and looking at the squad over here where you at where you at where you at the uh here we go Paul's team over here, I like it a lot. It's pretty spicy. It's rocking safety guard, friend guard, terror type ghost, mouse hold over here. Follow me, beat up, super faint protect. Pop bomb seems to be not used, but I, I feel like Pop bomb and Chien Pao would just be insane. Like both very frail mons, but like technician, population bomb, plus Chien Pao. Maybe even they go real arrogant, run like choice scarf, Pop bomb. Technician, just go Pop bomb everything with the mouse and go bop, 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 bop. You're going to lose the accuracy not having the wide guard or the wide lens there. But honestly, that defense drop plus the pop bomb, I'm telling you, man, the rat gang is on the rise. I want to try it out. Maybe I'll give it a go. But um, Choice Scarf seems a little too arrogant. You're going to miss that uh, pop bomb. It's going to feel really bad. But uh, honestly, man, I can see that doing damage. Then what was cool, we had Covert Cloak on the bundle. I'm a big fan of Encore. I love Encore. But my man said, yo, I'm not landing a Hydro Pump. I ain't running that. I got Freeze Draw. I got Ice Wind. I got Encore. I got Protect. Forget Hydro Pump. We don't freaking need that. So I really like that a lot. Of course, on LAPH, just Berry, Terror Type Water, which is odd because usually they go like Terror Type Fire so they can't be burnt. But he's rocking the Lumberry here to get around that. Plus the Water Terror Type to be nice, bulky Water Type because Water is a great defensive type in general. So being. Bulky there is phenomenal, only we tell it you can grass, and then you have easily cover that with the Arcanine and like even the Flutter, uh, the Roaring Moon, even Golden Goal a bit, you know. So I really like that team a lot over there. But um, we saw a Gar there's 17 Gyaroses on day two. Like I said in the last video, Gyaros is on the rise, baby. He's got the beautiful immunity to the ground attacks, intimidate, and honestly, Terra Flying plus a water attack is really good coverage in the meta right now. And um, He's freaking great. My, I said Great Tusk was gonna be the most used mod because we see my Terra Poison mods running around. Bro, Great Tusk, where was he at? I'm gonna have to think my pop back up now for you guys. Great Tusk was at a usage of, like we saw some. Great Tusk is still chilling. 
But overall, man, why can't I find? Oh, there was nine Great Tusks. As like, it, Great Tusks should be on almost every single team. Now there is only nine uh, Great Tusks out of 70 teams. So Great Tusks on the decline. The Great Tusk stocks are down, baby. But, um... Golden go on the rise, Ganos on the rise, and of course those five Pokemon, that five, that five Mon Core plus throw what you like seems to be the meta right now. Like if we go back to top eight, we see, like I said right here, the five you just throw on the Bax Caliber, the Roaring Moon, the uh 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 Iron Hands, you know, that that seems to be the go-to. Chien Pao, see, I don't like Chien Pao. It's obviously great. I just don't like playing. It's very frail, very glass cannony. Does phenomenal stuff, phenomenal support. Obviously, Chien Pao Dragon is always gonna be a threat, but for me, I'm a bulky player. I like playing bulk. And speaking of bulk, I think there's only one Grim Snarl. There is only one Grim Snarl on day two. Yeah, one Grim Snarl, one T Tar, which is really wild. Only one T Tar, one Torkoal, one Wo Chien on the day two teams. You know, uh, that's actually kind of crazy, man. Those mods are down in the uh, El Crapper right now, dude. Golden Go, there was eight Golden Goes. Uh, Dozo a little bit coming back in the mix. There's nine Dozos, and I think two of them in top eight, right? We have one Dozo, we have two Dozos. So two of the Dozos, so 25% of the Dozos that made day two made top eight. Um, but overall, man, it's just seeming like bring those five mods and bring a filler of your choice. Corviknight is the here and there. Glamora actually saw some play as well. A little more Glamora there, but I think with the Amoongus running around, those T-Spikes are always going to be sucked up. So it makes the Glamora's life a little difficult there. However, Glamora is nice against uh, Dragonite because he's Rock-type, E-Speed, you resist it, you hit it with a Power Gem before it terrestrializes. Otherwise, you just try to poison it and then hit it with... Uh, um, just your, just you just DPS it down kind of thing you got going on there, but that honestly seems to be the call. King Gambit over here. Take a quick look at King Gambit. Most of them are going Terra Dark now. Still some Terra Fire. They're all Defiant and still AV. But Lumberry seems to be on the rise, my friends. Swords Dance. Uh, King Gambit seems like another mon uh, another option on the rise as well. We saw seven out of fourteen. Half the King Gambits are running Swords Dance, which means half the King Gambits were not running AV. Actually, it's only six were. How does it make sense? Seven King Gambit and Swords Dance, but six of them had AV. It's like not clicking in my head, but either way, I don't, I don't know what that is. But King Gambit is still a phenomenal mon as well with the AV or without the AV. You get a sucker, you get a Swords Dance off plus a, and a plus two Sucker Punch. That's going to hurt somebody, especially with GM Pal backing him up, dude. Having that 25% defense drop plus the Sucker Punch at plus two. Big damage right there. So another mon seeing a lot of play there. And those are honestly the things that I noticed the most. Everything else seems pretty self explanatory there. Um. And that's that, my friend. So for me, I think I'm gonna try like, I'm gonna. I, I think Roar Moon's pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna try him again. But overall, those five mods: the Arcanine, Finny, or Finny. Oh my God, I just Finny was a bit here. Arcanine, Palafin, Tinglu, Fluttermane, and um. Uh yeah, those are the basically the the most common mods right now. So my friends, thanks for watching. As always, I am Drewby. The phone is ringing. I gotta answer. Have a great day, and we will see you guys soon. Fancy outro, yeah. Is that good?